Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. Today I have a really cool video that has been in the works for probably 8 months now because this is a uh, bootleg iPod shuffle as you can see here and I bought this off of eBay for $2.50 and free shipping even and it came straight from China. Now you know how things are taking a long time to get from China as of right now. Well, this took eight months to get here. They said it was going to take like three months, um, but nope, it took them about eight months to get here. And I mean, it's here. It just arrived today. So I'm going to film this video because this is my entire plan for the video was to make a video about this. Now, I guess let's go over my first impressions of this product. I'm not going to leave a link to it in the description because honestly, I don't think it's a good thing to be making these bootlegs, but... I'm, and it doesn't even have a brand. As you can see, it's like unbranded. So probably just like someone in China just making these. Um, but like looking at it, first impressions, it's more dense than I thought. This does not feel like plastic at all. Um, it mostly just feels like maybe like an aluminum material, but it is not plastic. And I can show you that. I mean, these tiles here, that part is plastic. But these here, like this does, it doesn't feel like plastic. And it doesn't like sound like plastic either. Like listen to that. doesn't really sound like plastic um over here you can see i haven't actually turned this on yet but if you look here you can see it has a micro sd and then like mini usb right there to um for power i'm assuming to charge the battery and then it has this really clicky um click wheel here it's very clicky um more clicky than the shuffle now i actually do not have a shuffle with me as of right now um but that would be cool if i could compare it to it but oh my gosh it's got power. I have not charged this yet, but that's cool. It's actually got power in it. Well, I guess that's probably our next step would be to grab a cable and plug this guy in, but it is tiny. Um, but I guess another thing I want to share is this hinge is not the best. Like it can get out of line pretty easily. Um, and it's not as like strong because I can clamp it on my finger. It doesn't really hurt. Um, but yeah, I think this frame is some sort of metal, even like a lightweight metal or something. But yeah, this is plastic. So let's get a cable and plug this guy in. All right, so we're back. We have the two gigabyte drive now. Um, and this actually came with my 3D printer. So it's actually the smallest size micro SD card I have. So I guess, let's see, does that actually fit in there nicely? Goes in this way. Oh, so it's one that goes like completely flush in there. Okay, well, it's in. So, um, let's go grab a speaker to use with this. I have this really cool song called Scarlet Fire, and I think it'd be cool to put that on there. So I have this two gigabyte drive right here, um, and I thought we could put it on here. So this is two gigabytes, so I think it should hopefully go on there. And here's Scarlet Fire, so let's drag and drop that on there, and it's done. So let's head over back to the iPod and see if it see if it actually plays and see if the how the audio audio quality actually is all right everyone so i have the thingy here um the little mini mp3 player and while i'm waiting for my speaker to charge up let's just do a non-educated uh, non-technical guess and just use my cheap old headphones that i have here that i've had for a long time um so let's plug them in here like that and do that and then Oh, it actually comes up. Okay. So I'm just maxing out of these speakers, so this is not a great test. But there is sound. See how loud they can get. That's as loud as they go. The fact that there's any sound coming out of this darn thing is just awesome. That's awesome. So I guess we have to wait till the speaker actually um, comes back. Uh, well, charges up, I guess you'd say. And we can actually get a real test to see how good this thing actually sounds. Um, and if you should buy a cheap old iPod shuffle knockoff. One. So I have the speaker hooked up. And it works. So sound quality is actually okay from this little guy. I'm happy it works. Um... And it actually turned out nice. So I guess, what are my thoughts? 
well, still don't buy a cheap knockoff. If you really do need to buy a more expensive one, it's gonna last you longer than one of these. Um, in my testing, the battery does not last that long. But sound quality is fine. I mean, we tested it on the headphones earlier, so honestly, I think that it's an okay device. I mean, for what I paid for it, I paid this. I paid, like I said, two dollars and fifty cents and free shipping. This came directly from China. It works okay, and honestly, for the price, I was I was expecting it to like never arrive, but it actually arrived. It works okay. Um, I mean, no. I would not recommend buying it. I mean, still, like, if you're looking for a cheap one, sure, you can buy these cheap ones on eBay. Like, all I do is search MP3 player and then sort from uh, cheapest to more ex most expensive. And I just, this was actually, like, the cheapest one that I could find that had free shipping on it. So, I just bought it, um, pulled the trigger and bought it. No, not, not knowing what to expect. But I guess in the long run, I wouldn't really recommend buying these because they're not going to last long. Um... But it's really cool for, like, a cool little toy. Like, if you want to give this to, like, a little sibling who you know might break it. Or to, like, a little kid just to play with. Like, like you put this in the little kid's toy room and let them use it for, like, playing music. Because you know that if they find it and they break it, it's not going to cost much repair. I mean, even then, I still wouldn't recommend letting them break it. Because you don't know what kind of components are inside if they get shocked. But still, it's a cheap thing. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's okay for someone who's just getting into listening to music. If you don't want to spend like the hundred dollars on like an Apple iPod, or even in this days, it's not even worth buying an Apple iPod. I mean, just use your phone. But more or less, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.